recently, I got some cabinets in my room. They look absolutely awesome, except for one very important thing, the handles. They're pink. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Obviously, we need to do something about these pink handles. So I wanted a dragon head handle, so I decided to sculpt my own dragon head for a handle. Um, and I've never sculpted anything before. I ended up using Sculptress and a little bit of this and that and finally got something reasonable that looked like a dragon head. I consider this guy a little mini toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So let's go ahead and get right over to the printer and start printing this thing. All right, the print has finished. Here it is. I had to print it with some support to support some of the pieces here that hang out into the middle of nowhere. Let's go ahead and start cleaning up this support. All righty, the 3D model is done being cleaned up. I am, wow. This model definitely turned out a lot better printed than I thought. Definitely quite nice. Um, as we see here, the supporting left, a small bit of um, roughness to the end of the part. It's actually going to go on like that, so no one will ever actually get a full glimpse of that part, even from the wall. So that will all face the wall, so that won't be a big deal. For now, let's just leave it like that. Well, the part's all cleaned up, and I guess the next step would be to install this on the cupboard. So let's go ahead and install it. All right, this is exciting. Let's go ahead and put it on. So here it is, I guess we gotta take these old paste knobs off. All right, so here's our new one. Oh yeah, that is extremely cool. Welcome world to the 3D printed knob. What, what? That's awesome. Sweet, now all I gotta do is print the rest of them. Well, I think this wraps up this video, short and sweet. That's exactly how I like it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we're gonna see you next week. Bye!